hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me in this video i'll take you through how to schedule or start a teams meeting through the microsoft teams application or by using the microsoft outlook application we will later in the video look at how to join a teams meeting from microsoft outlook and then also how to join from a mobile device so stay tuned so we are going to start off with the microsoft um, teams application so um, teams is a is an application you can use to have um, online meetings with your colleagues your family or um, friends so you need to first of all have the application installed on your um, computer and then you can then sign in with your microsoft account and then you'll be presented with this page so as you can see this very teams application has been signed in with this particular microsoft account so once you are in there to schedule a meeting let's say you have a meeting with a, 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 a colleague um, in the office maybe you, you you were not able to make it to the office so you want to have a meeting with a person you can schedule a meeting or you can have a meeting that very day with the, the colleague a friend a family member so what you have to do is to open your teams application the microsoft teams application and then once you're in there you want to select the calendar tab on the left hand side so when you look on the left hand side we have the activities tab we have the chat we have the teams we have calendar calls we have onedrive um, this is actually the new um, interface the new teams application so let's get straight into it so we will click on the calendar tab and then once you're in the calendar area you want to either start a meeting right away when you click the meet now so the meet now will actually um, start a teams meeting which is a very quick and easy way of starting a meeting so you just have to give the meeting the name and then you can de then start the meeting and then you can also um, click get a link to share so you have to first of all get a link to share and then you can click the start the meeting the link you can share it with the colleague the family member the friend that you want to have the meeting with through email or maybe through whatsapp or any other means so once you share them you can then click start meeting and then the the, the, the other people can also connect and then join the meeting but that is not what we are looking at today so there's also an option here join with an id so maybe somebody has invited you to a teams meeting usually the person would send it to, through email when you you receive the email you would have the meeting id the teams meeting id in the email so you just have to click on the join with an id and then you type the meeting id that was sent to you in the email and then you'll be joined to the meeting but what we want to do today is to schedule a meeting so as you, when you see and beside the new meeting when you click the arrow down you can see schedule a meeting but you can also um, just um, click the new meeting and then you'll be presented with this um, window so with this window you want to give the meeting a title let's me call it test meeting this is a just this is a test uh, meeting so um, add required attendees so over here you can click and then you can type the email addresses or the accounts of the people you want to invite if you are in the a microsoft if you are using microsoft 365 or if you, your organization is using microsoft 365 or the microsoft azure ad 
chances are that when you start typing the user's name the the names will automatically populate for you to be selecting them you don't have to type everything the e the full email address but in this case i'm going to type the full email address and then we will continue so i entered the email address of the person i want to invite to this meeting um once you enter the email address um, you can select that so on to the next um, step is the date and time you want the meeting to start so with the dates you have to click in there and then you can see that we have we are in july so i want this meeting to start on um, next week which is the 29th of july so i will select the 29th and then the time i will select uh, i want the meeting to start around 1 p.m i want the meeting to end at 2 p.m so that is the duration 1 p.m to 2 p.m and then over here the recurrence the recurrence of the meeting what do you want to do are you going to have the meeting every day every week every month this is where you set that so i will select the arrow down beside does not repeat and then i will select weekly i want this meeting to um reoccur every other week on every monday of every other week so you can select daily if you want the meeting to reoccur every on every day you can select monthly and every other option that you desire so i'll select weekly so um, weekly every so the start date is 29th of july repeat every one week and it starts every mondays or it's on every mondays and then the end dates i will not put anything there because i want it to reoccur if if you want if 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 you want the meeting to end at a certain date you can also state the date here let's say you want the date to end or the meeting to end or real care for maybe two weeks three weeks you can set um, the date to that date so maybe two weeks from 29th will be the 14th or 13th thereabouts of august so you can set it here but I, I don't want the meeting this particular meeting to end i want it to reoccur every week every monday of every subsequent week so i will click the save button and then we have set the reoccurrence um you can add a channel you can add um location so you can if if you if you are having this meeting in your conference room you can state it here or you can either write microsoft teams because this is going to be an online thing so let's just type microsoft teams there that is going to be so it's an online meeting so that is going to be our location you can type the details of the meeting over here so that whoever wants to join the meeting would um, then um, know the the purpose of the meeting you can add an agenda and then that would be it so once you're done with all these options you can then click the send button and then the meeting invitation would be sent to the users or the people you sh you are sharing the meeting with or you are going to have the meeting with and then what they will receive it they will receive the the meeting invitation in their emails in their inbox and then they can later join when the date is due so i'll click the send to send it now and then once you click send also the schedule will be created and so every 
other Monday beginning the 29th of July the meeting uh, you will get a pop-up in your outlook or in your team's application to that um, there's a meeting on a Monday after the 29th or from the 29th onwards so I'll click the send but then again you can also um, do the same thing with from within your Microsoft Outlook application so when you open Outlook you can also click on the calendar tab on the left so you can see the mail icon you can see calendar so click the calendar icon and then once you click the calendar icon in the ribbon so usually in the new outlook sometimes you will see the simplified ribbon all you need to do is to click the arrow down at the far right hand side corner and then select the classic ribbon and then you get the classic ribbon so in the classic ribbon you will see once again what we saw in the microsoft teams application the two options the meet now and then the teams meeting which is the one you can use to schedule a meeting so that is what i'm going to use so i'll click on the on the arrow down and then i'll select schedule a meeting so this is just like what we did in the microsoft um, teams application but just that the interface of this one is a little different so you can state the title of the meeting so at this point we'll add the required attendees these are attendees uh, who must or who definitely must be in the meeting so you add them in the required and then the optional attendees these guys you can decide to add them you can decide not to add them so um, once that is done you want to set the start date and time so i'll select the 29th and then select 1 pm and then the end dates because i will set a, a recurrence uh, because i don't want this uh, meeting to end i want it to recur all the time every every other monday so you can select daily if you want it to reoccur every day weekly monthly yearly if you want those options but in this case i will select weekly select monday and then under the range of uh, recurrence you can select end by a certain date in the future you can select the the dates in that um, box you can select end after a, a number of occurrence so default is 25 occurrences and then the option i'm going to select is no end dates because i don't want this meeting to ever end i want it to recur every other monday from the 29th onwards once that is done i'll select ok and then the recurrence has been successfully set you can click the edit recurrence option to edit your recurrence and then you can make any changes you want if um, the need arises so i'll click cancel and then everything is set we have the meeting title the location is right there since it's a online meeting the location is the microsoft teams meeting so you can see the teams um, the link you can um, share that link we have the meeting id and then the passcode if you are um, joining with the ID and then the passcode so I'll click the send and then once I click the send um, the meeting invitation will be sent to all the individuals that were added in the attendees area so you can see the meeting um, schedule has been created successfully in Microsoft Outlook calendar and then uh, when you open Microsoft Teams you should also see the teams um the teams schedule in the microsoft outlook 
or the Microsoft Teams application. So you can see the first um, one created there, and then you know that your schedule is a success successful one. So you can click on it and then click the join meeting. Um, you can do this from the Microsoft Teams application or the Microsoft Outlook application. This is where you can change your settings, your audio and your video settings. Make sure everything is working before you click the join meeting or the join now. And then we, you can see that uh, we are joined to the meeting. So at this juncture, you would have to wait for the meeting um, host to admit you into the meeting. And then you would be successfully joined into the meeting. So let's join a meeting or let's join the meeting from Microsoft Outlook. So this is this is how it looks like when you receive a Teams meeting in your Outlook. So you can click the join the meeting now link or you can copy the meeting ID and passcode and then use the Microsoft Teams application to join the meeting. We looked earlier on or we looked in the Microsoft Teams application earlier on where you can join with the meeting ID. So you click the, you open the Teams application and then you select the join with Teams ID. So I'll copy the ID and then click the join with an ID and then I'll paste the ID here. Click the join uh, meeting. And then also again you should be joined to the meeting so I'll click join now you select or you check your video and audio settings everything is correct then you um, click the join meeting so over here you would have to also copy the passcode just like that and then paste it in there and then click the retry or join in your case you might see in join so you click the join and then everything should be okay so says we'll let the organizer know you are waiting so the organizer has to admit you into the meeting so once you are admitted into the meeting you would see um, that you would be joined into the meeting so that is yours that's the organizer of the meeting and to see the people in the meeting you can click the people icon on top of the screen or on top of the window and then you will see all the people who are joined to the meeting in this case there are only two so you can click the leave when the meeting is done or when you are done with the meeting and to to exit or to end the meeting you can also so you can also click the join meeting now link in the email and then you can it that would open automatically open the microsoft teams application for you and then you can click the join now and you can see that once again we are joined into the meeting so this is really um, helpful this video is really helpful if you follow it um, thoroughly um, you will not find any challenges um, joining a meeting um, with the Microsoft Teams application or joining the meeting from a Microsoft Outlook application so once again you can see the people in the meeting so we have some tabs on top of the Teams application. We have the chats, we have the emojis, we have the people where you can see all the people in the, or the attendees in the meeting. And you click the leave to exit out of the, the meeting. So we are also going to look at how to join the meeting, a Teams meeting. Um, from a mobile device so stick and stay so now on a mobile device you want to make sure that you install the teams microsoft teams application on your mobile device so i'll in, on this android phone i'll go to play store and then search for teams 
now you can see that teams is already installed if it's not installed go ahead and then install it before you can run the application so in this case it's installed so the next thing i will do is to open my gmail app where i have the mail for the the meeting so i'll tap on the meeting to open it once i tap on it scroll down to you see the join meeting now link tap on the join meeting now link and then also you can also um, use the meeting id and then passcode if you so wish to do it but i'll tap the join meeting now uh, link and then i'll select always to always use the teams application to open such um, links once you do that the meeting will open or microsoft teams will open with the meeting um, all you need to do is to enter your name if this is the first time you are doing it enter your name so i'll enter my name and then once that is done i'll tap on the join now to join the meeting so yet yeah, it says um someone in the meeting should let you in so the the host should admit me into the meeting and once the host admits me that would be all you i would have successfully joined um the the teams meeting using my mobile device so yes guys this has been a video on how to schedule a teams meeting from microsoft teams and also from microsoft outlook and then we just gone by looked at how to join the meeting from your pc and then also from a mobile device kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to subscribe to my channel to support us click on the like button if this was helpful share this video turn on notifications for all and then i'll see you in another video bye